My name is Bridget Malloy. Um, I'm 22 years old and when I was 15 I lost my mother Susan to lung cancer. Um, I joined the Cruise uh, Youth Advisor Group in 2007, uh, shortly after my mother died, after taking part in the first Ask the Ex Experts DVD project which Cruise undertook. The support I received not only from the adults accompanying us but the other young people as well made it easy for me to speak up, share my story and my opinions. It made me feel like someone was listening to me, which at that time and age is, was incredibly helpful for me. I remember my first experience with Cruz being very nerve-wracking. I was already doubting my decision at the first icebreaking event for the DVD project. However, when the residential came around, my opinion changed completely. Sitting in a big group circle, we talked about our experiences and how different events affected us, and I felt safe. First, I was terrified that I would be made to answer questions that would be painful, but in the end I didn't feel pressure or nervous at all, even though the people I was talking to were practically strangers. Our shared experiences bonded us in such a way that I never felt scared to say anything. By the time we had to go home, I was sure that I wanted to be part of Cruise in any way. I was no longer afraid to share or even to cry. I felt valued and safe, like my opinion and my story mattered. Since 2007, I've lost my grandma Bridget, my granddad Mick, my aunt Mary and my granddad Wesley. Having the Ag there, not as a counselling service, but an outlet for my experiences, was and is invaluable. Some of the activities we did when with the Youth Advisor Group also helped at home. Things like life maps and memory jars provided me with a creative outlet for my emotions. In my personal life, the support of my family and the continued closeness of some of my friends helped me through the worst bits. Feeling able to still act like a teenager with my mates was a great way to feel like my life was normal. But at the heart of everything, I have YAG. Um, my name is Victoria McCormick and I'm 19 years old and I've been a member of Cruise Youth Advisory Group since 2009. I joined Cruise after attending counselling throughout 2009 and I lost my dad whenever I was 14 years old in December 2008. Um, when you're 14 you think you're grown up and understand everything that's happening in your life but whenever my dad took his own life a week before Christmas um, I felt like I was a child again and I didn't really know what was happening with my life anymore. Um, with the circumstances of the death, I obviously had quite a lot of questions about what was happening and what affected me the most was knowing I'd never get the answers I needed to understand what had happened. Um, losing my dad at such a young age hurt because I knew I'd never get to spend the time with him that I needed. And um, I had quite a lot of questions. Whenever it happened, it was the small things that really bothered me the most. My dad had a job in the local cinema, just close to where I lived, and I couldn't even go to the cinema with my friends anymore because I was just expecting him to be there whenever I turned up. Um, whenever it happened, it was difficult to cope because we really did everything together, and whenever I was younger, I was quite a tomboy. and. We like went fishing together, and he was quite he was a welder, so like we'd always be building things in a shed together, and I just couldn't even go to the shed because I knew I'd never see him standing drilling something or building something new. Um, a few months after the passing of my dad, my mom suggested that I went to cruise, uh, but to me this seemed like a punishment because I really struggle opening up to people I know, never mind a stranger in a room that I'm not familiar with. The first few weeks were really quite painful because I sat and fidgeted with the arm of the chair and couldn't really speak, so it was just an awkward silence where there was just an emptiness in the room. The counsellor then suggested that I would take a more creative approach towards it and he gave me things like pictures to draw and muppets and things that I could use to find other ways to talk rather than sitting in silence. Joining YAG was a really terrifying experience because I was just dropped off in Belfast with a bunch of people that I didn't know and just left to it. But little did I know that years later that I would be one of those crazy people in Belfast helping them. YAG may just seem like a youth group for messed up kids, 
but the misfits with the problems that can't be fixed, but it's more than that. It's a family of young people. Everybody in YAG feels like a brother or sister to me, somebody I can turn to when things feel bad. YAG has brought me through the worst times in my life and I've come out stronger because of it. I would like to help with this presentation because it would make my dad proud and I'm glad to be at this conference today to let you all know how YAG has helped with my life. <laughs> uh, well, we did the last uh, 13 years and mine, mine starts in the year 2000. I had been bereaved before that, but I wasn't actually bereaved in the year 2000 itself. I died to said that in the year 2000 was the year I bought my first album. <laughs> I can't remember what it was. 2001 was the year that uh, I lost my dad. Uh, he was climbing a mountain for cancer, breast cancer, and he died before he, he reached the top. Uh, 2002 was the year that I sat my 11 plus and uh, because of what had happened I, I didn't do very well. It was the only thing I could really think of that uh, was significant for 2002. 2003 was the year that my aunt, she died at the very start of 2003. So there was a good uh, 15 months in between my aunt and my dad. 2013, I've, I've graduated, I've turned 21. Uh, I thought it was also maybe worth noting that this year in September um, I'm going to climb the mountain that my dad died on 12 years ago. L that's the thing, um, and sometimes like you think about your situation and you think that uh, you can't really make the best of it because you're scarred and so on and you think you're not the same as everybody else and you never have been, but in another respect you've got to think that uh, they're, you're still very lucky to have the support you have and to have the people around you and your friends and your family and so on and you almost feel empowered to do stuff like that to make the best out of your situation and come to groups like this and work on projects like this and DVDs like this and yeah, climb, climb mountains. <laughs>